My name is Biafra Hanunu, and today I'm going to give you a quick preview of the talk I'll be giving at the San Diego Pain Summit in February. So what I'm going to discuss is how the nervous system processes noxious information to produce pain percepts within the brain. The work that I did with Professor Mark Snitzer and Gregory Scher at Stanford University, and I'm now a postdoctoral scholar in Professor Alan Bassbaum's lab at UCSF. What I'm going to show you is how we can combine the computational and imaging approaches and our understanding of pain neurobiology in order to address fundamental questions in awake animal sensory processing. And this will hopefully allow us to find new therapies to help alleviate patients' pain. So the talk will consist of two parts. In the first, we'll discuss how normal stimuli, like a light touch, can be perceived as painful by changes in the neural activity within the brain. I will then discuss the two major components of pain. One is a sensory, and the other is the effective motivational. And we'll show how we identified a circuit involved in the effective motivational component of pain. So to do this, I'll show you how we're using new approaches in which you can measure neural activity while also recording the animal's behaviors. And what this consists of is we can get access to brain regions of interest for example, the amygdala, which is involved in emotional control. And then we can go and implant a miniaturized microscope to measure neural activity while the animals move around and do behaviors. And what this allows us to do is indicated here, where you see flashes of activity in the top row, which are neurons becoming activated. And the bottom row, you see the animals behaving. And so what we can do then is understand how different stimuli lead to pain percepts and pain behaviors while also understanding how that relates to the neural activity. And so I look forward to talking to you and discussing how we can look at the transformation from normal to painful and to understand the major components of pain and how these are instantiated within the brain.